Hi everyone, it's Leilani. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be working on something a little bit different. We're going to be back in my media journal. So if you haven't caught the first video, we did work on this journal a couple months ago, so I will link the first video below. But this is just kind of a little journal that I started. It's a Heidi Swap um, Storyline Chapters Mini. So I think that it's roughly like a five by seven size. And it's just a little journal that I started to document and also rate some of the fun media that I am consuming. So the way that I decided to go about this is I used a couple older in a creative bubble cards. So these are just um, digitals that I that I purchased, you know, probably a couple years ago, maybe off of the website. If I can find those um, still online, I will also link those below if you want to check those out for yourself. But I really love these cards because they're super versatile. I've used them in my project life so many times. But what I did for this particular project is I blew them up a little bit to be a five by seven size and printed them off. And as you will see, there was currently watching and currently listening, but it really encompasses like everything that you would probably uh, be talking about because on the watching at the top, you can decipher between TV show and movie. And on the listening, you can choose between audiobook, podcast, and album. So it's pretty cool that there's all these different options. So what I've been doing is I'm just using one of my little punched out stars and adding it to whichever thing I am documenting. So last time I did like a, an audiobook, a TV show and a couple albums, but this time I'm just doing TV shows. And that's what I feel like will probably end up filling up the majority of this book because I definitely watch more TV than anything else. But these were four shows that I really got super into over the past couple months and wanted to document for sure. So this first one is Nine Perfect Strangers, as you can see, and I love scrapbooking like this because you can really batch it so well. So I just printed off a bunch of these cards. I have them handy and ready to go. I printed them off on just your standard uh, printer paper. It's super thin, so I think that that will be nice for the long run of filling up this album. It shouldn't make it too like thick and chunky, which is nice. Um, and then I printed off my four little movie posters. So I printed them off at about two inch by three inch size. And then I grabbed out a lot of stamp sets. So I really already went through those stamp sets uh, in my previous video and found all of the stamps that have just been sitting around in my craft room, a lot from Citrus Twist, a lot from Paper Person, from their subscriptions. And um, there was a few that were definitely media themed. So either kind of like binge watching or book themed or different things like that. So I kind of kept them all together so they would be easy to grab for this particular project. Also, the little um, alpha stamps are also from Citrus Twist. So I love using those. They fit really nicely up there and I'm super enjoying kind of just grabbing things out to decorate. So for each one of these as well, I'm using just a little colored label and I'm adding in my rating, which has been one of the most fun parts for me. So for Nine Perfect Strangers, I gave it three stars. So five stars I've got to just super, super, super love. So um, Nine Perfect Strangers, I did really like a lot, but um, you know, there's just a few little things in it that maybe weren't my favorite or whatever so I rated it with three stars but I love adding the rating and then I have a lot of little um my little stars already punched out of the Vicky Booten a color study collection um ready to go so I'm sprinkling those on just for little color pops and then I love um one of the stamp sets from paper person is specifically about like binge watching tv shows so one of the stamps said the one we love to watch together or something like that. So I added that to the bottom because me and Will did watch that show together. And I love kind of um, including that little tidbit in my uh, documenting. So the second one is Only Murders in the Building, which I have to say has been one of my favorite shows in a while. I just absolutely loved this one. So if you haven't tried it, I definitely recommend it. It's so cute. It has such a cool kind of old school kind of vibe. And it's a murder mystery, but the way it's presented is really fun and kind of whimsical. And it's just really 
really a great watch and all of the main characters are so good. So um, at this point, I'm sorry, I turned off my camera for a minute to go do something out in my house. And whenever I came back, I just started working away and I forgot to turn my camera back on. So I missed a uh, recording that I stamped the I like this a lot stamp, which I loved adding that huge stamp. And then I also added the title, as you can see, which I just put the first letter of each word in the title since it was such a long one. So I did rate this one with all five stars because I just super loved it. It's a really fun watch. Um, a lot of twists and turns and it's really fun. So that was great. And then we're going to move on to the next one. So another thing I love about this type of documenting is it's super quick. So it's just something easy to do. Um, so I actually kind of printed everything and had it ready to go, set it on my desk. And I knew that one morning I could just whip these out really quickly. So kind of in the morning, some of my alone time sometimes is to get up pretty early when Will's still asleep and the dogs are still quiet and I'll do an easy project that doesn't require, you know, a ton of maybe printing or thinking, you know. So I just put on a show, um, had my headphones in and just worked away on this and really enjoyed that little bit of time by myself. So the next thing we're going to be documenting is Squid Game. So that was another really big show that I feel like everyone was watching. I gave it three stars. Um, just the same thing. Just a few little things that maybe I didn't love. But all in all, it was a great show, a great watch. And me and Will super enjoyed watching this one together as well. Um, I did in the paper person stamp set. I did love this stamp. It says like not for innocent eyes or something like that. So I thought that that was a good one for Squid Game because it is a wild ride. It's a little like um, bloody and stuff. So just a warning, but it's super good and it's such a unique, interesting story. So that was really fun to watch. So here I'm just adding in my title of Squid Game. I love how that fits so perfectly right in the little title spot. And then I'm just going to do a little more decorating. So of course I add the stars and then I'm going to add a couple other stamps. So I did pull out some additional stamps that weren't necessarily themed for TV shows or books or anything. So some of them were just general life stamps, but I just thought that they had sentiments on there that would work. Like this one says freaking good. And then I think I stamp this right above that. So I like just pulling out my stamps and kind of having a play with them because besides alpha stamps, which I do love a good alpha stamp. And I love when I'm doing a project to use the alpha stamps to kind of bring some cohesiveness to the project. So I'll do that a lot. But as far as just your regular standard stamps, I kind of forget about them and don't use them that often. So I love that this is a little project where the stamps kind of shine and I'm able to pull them out and um, actually use them. So this is another one of the icons that was in that paper person um, stamp set that's all about TV shows and it had this little metal which I thought was cute to add on since Squid Game is a game and there will be a winner and all of that so I thought that that would be kind of appropriate to add and then I'm just once again adding in my journaling I love kind of writing how I felt about the show or if me and Will were watching it together or if it was one that I watched by myself or however it went and especially loved giving it the rating. I just think that it's really fun to do that. And then you just pop it right in. It's so easy. Um, it's been kind of nice working outside of the book. So none of the bulkiness of the book gets in your way, but it's super easy to just adhere right in there whenever I have been done. So the last one that we will be documenting today is you. So this one is another one of like my favorites that I just love when it comes out. So it just came out mid-October. If you're into a thriller and you haven't watched you yet, I definitely um, recommend this one as well. Uh, it has three seasons. So this was the newest season and I super loved it. Me and Will watched this one together as well and it was really fun. Um, I love I love thrillers in general and um, I don't know I love the way that this show is I just think it's really like addicting and I always am so ready to see what happens next 
So I'm adding my rating and I had to go ahead and give it five stars um, because I really couldn't think of anything that I did not like about it and it was such a fun watch. So one thing that I decided to stamp out on that same paper person stamp set with the icons, there was a little hammer and wrench and I'm sure that this was intended for like a home improvement HGTV kind of show but um, if you've watched you you'll know that it really works for that too because um, anything can become a weapon on that show so um, I thought that I would add that down at the bottom have to add my little star to decipher if this is a TV show or a movie and then add a few other ones just um, for a little color pop and then I am going to add some stamping down the side so I was trying to add at least a little bit of colored stamping which is something that I don't do very often but I grabbed my Catherine Pooler um, colored ink set and I tried to add a few pops of color here and there so for this one I added the new episode stamp from paper person I love that and if I have like too much room for my journaling um I was using some little arrows to kind of just take up a little bit of space so I thought that that was cute and then I'm just going to add my journaling onto this one and we'll call this done so um let me know if you have any type of album like this do you record like the media that you watch it's always one of my favorite things to document and I love having this little book to just flip through and see how I felt about different shows and stuff I just think that it's pretty fun so let me know if you do anything similar and I just hope that you guys are having a wonderful start to your month if you um, enjoyed this video I would love it if you would subscribe if you haven't and give me a like if you um would be so kind and I will talk to you guys super soon. Thanks guys. Bye.